What's poppin', homies? It's your favorite homegirl, Gossip Girl. So we're going to talk about Kelly Price today before I get into my other content for uh, Missing Monday Report. Um, yeah, so Kelly Price is not missing anymore. She did a video, well, she did an interview, and um, she revealed that she had flatlined, that she had died as the doctors worked on her to save her life. Um, so now she's back to life. And, um, you know, she was going, she was, she had the plague 19. Um, but my thing is this, she made it seem like in her video that her and her sister has been a straight, you know, a strain to each other, um, before the pandemic and stuff like that. So I don't know why, you know, her, if that was the case, why would her sister make such a report um, report and say, hey, we haven't seen her, you know, and she was saying something about her daughter was manipulated um, during that this time, or whatever the case may be. Her daughter's 27 years old. So, I, I don't, you know what? I'm just going to be real. I saw the video and she did get emotional. I don't like how the background looked, to be honest. Now, I don't know if she did the background that way to blur out where she's staying or it was a green screen. I don't know. But I just don't like how the background looked to me. Um, I hear her talking, but to me, it's not believable. Something is going on here. Now, she says she's out, you know, she she's speaking. She's here. Okay, fine. But there's something else going on. I don't know what it is. I can't put my finger on it. But I just, looking at that video, I, I just don't, I just feel like it was rehearsed. If I if I make it any sense, you know, some of y'all going to be like, girl, you sound crazy. And some of you going to be like, maybe, mm, I don't know. But I don't know. I don't know. Because it just seems to me, why would her sister do a welfare check? Why would her sister, you know, say, hey, that she's missing. She got two kids who can't get in contact with her. Like, why would she go through all of that? And they was like, so estranged, for, you know, not really rocking with each other like that. I'm just going to basically say. Um, she said in the interview, she said, at some point they lost me. I woke up a couple of days. And the first thing I remember was the doctors standing around me asking me if I knew what year it was. Um, Kelly Price recalled of the horrifying moment when the interviewer asked Price to explain what she meant by they lost me. And she said, she made it perfectly clear what she said. She said, I died. Okay. Um, you know, she's been battling um, Plague 19 for a week before she was hospitalized, okay? Her husband worked with the doctor virtually to treat her from home until him, until her symptoms were, got worse. My temperature had raised to 103 degrees and my breathing was extremely shallow. Um, You know, so, you know, she said she suffered a lot of internal damage and so I have a, she had a lot of rehabbing to do before she could be concert ready again. And that's, let me tell you something, not for nothing, that, that, that plague 19 is nothing to mess with. Okay. It would take you down. It would chew you up and swallow you. It would, it, it can make people feel like it's their last days on this earth and some, and then others don't have those symptoms that bad. You know, it seemed like to me, she had the worst of it. And then she also talked about why she was not in her home in Cobb County. Uh, authorities came to conduct previous, previously reported welfare checks, revealing that she left her residence because fans were coming to her property. How does the fans find out where you live at? Jesus. Fans were coming to her property, ringing the doorbell and leaving things at her doorstep. She said, I literally left my house. Maybe a week ago because I could not rest there. She said, I turned off everything. Kelly Price also disputed claims made by her sister about the timeline by which they last saw each other. It hasn't been two months since I've seen my sister. It's been a year, she explained. I haven't been in the same room as her since my mother's funeral. 
prior to that, we hadn't seen each other at all pandemic long. And that's not new for us. We've been strained for a very long time, she said. So do you think her sister was trying to start drama? Um, while I don't, I don't see why she would, you know, maybe they have some, maybe they have some, um, family history of, you know, drama, some family drama going on. Um, Prince, sorry, not Prince, Price family called out Kelly's husband, Terrell Barbers. Now, I thought his name was Brian McKinney, but here his it says here her husband name is Terrell Barbers, okay, um, for allegedly barring them from visiting her home. What they determined as suspicious behavior prompt them to alert the authorities to do a welfare check. So Price made clear, I was never missing. Everyone in my family knew exactly where I was. It's very disappointing that things came to this. So do you think that Maybe because Kelly and her sister probably are not getting along right now. Um, but why would she want to start drama like this? I can't see her sister just want to start drama. Maybe she was really concerned about her. Maybe she was like, okay, I don't see her posting on social media or saying anything to her children. What's really going on? You know, it could have been that kind of situation. I don't know, but um, it seemed like, you know, she's here. She's telling her story. But I, whether I believe it or not, Kelly Price did an interview. Okay, so I guess we just got to take that. She did an interview. Um, something doesn't seem 100% with her right now. I don't know what that is. <clears throat> something doesn't seem 100%. But hey, who am I to say, you know, she's not telling the truth or she's not giving us 100% facts? You get what I'm saying? So she told her story. She did an interview. And I guess we just have to go with that. So whatever issues that her, her and her sister are going through, I hope they can at one point, you know, sit down and talk about it and become loving sisters again. You get what I'm saying? Um, I hope she do talk to her kids more and say, hey, this is what had to go down. I had to do this. You know, and it could be a situation where she just wanted to get the heck out of Dodge. She just wanted to just leave everything behind and get away. And honey, sometimes I know what that feels like. I know what that feels like. But when you are a celebrity and things happen, people will speculate. We all did um, we, because we don't know. Because we just don't know. But she did the interview. I said that. For me to believe that she was okay, she had to come out herself and say so, and she did. So, I'll take this, I'll take this, but I do have my doubts. I have my doubts. But anyway, guys, what do you think about all of this? Because I, I, the way her background look, maybe she just don't want nobody seeing stuff in her home. And so, you know how you could do things with technology, you could blur, blur out your background and stuff like that. So, maybe that's what she did or... Whoever interviewed her did that, you know, blurred the whole background out because folks don't want you looking in their, in their house like that. So, um, yeah, so it is what it is, guys. Kelly Price did an interview and she told her story. So what do you guys think about that? Did you see the video that's circling around? Do you think that her sister did this to start some type of drama? Let me know in the comment section. Let's talk about it.